What's up everybody Aditya Mahajan here and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. In today's video we will be solving another medium question, question number 114 also called as Platin Binary Tree to Linked List. It has also been asked in day 14 of May Lead Code Challenge so let's get started. Given the root of binary tree, flatten the tree into linked list. The linked list should use the same tree node class where the right child pointer points to the next node in the list and the left child pointer always points to null. The linked list should, in, uh, should be in the same order as pre-order traversal of binary tree. Now let us look at a few examples to understand the problem statement better. The question basically says that we are given a binary tree. Uh, this is the first example of the binary tree and we need to convert this binary tree into a linked list. Okay. And there are a few conditions that are given. The first condition is that the classes uh, of the nodes that are used, that is the tree node in the tree, should remain the same. Okay. And while keeping the same, the right pointer should be populated for the linked list. And all the left pointers should point to null. All the left pointers. Okay. This is the first condition that we have. In the second condition, what we are given is the order of the nodes uh, of the linked list should be in pre-order traversal. Okay, so in the first example, what we are given, the pre-order traversal would be 1, then we will have 2, then we will have 3, then we will have 4, then we will have 5, and finally we will have 6. Okay, so which is uh, the order of the linked list that we are given, that is 1, then we have 2, then we have 3, then we have 4, and then we have 5. So what we basically have to achieve is we need to convert this binary tree into a linked list in place without giving extra space. Okay. So there is a lot of rewiring and changing of links present. Okay. And whenever there is a lot of rewiring, we prefer post order traversal, right? Because in post order, it is kind of bottom up approach that is in post order. We first iterate the left subtree, then we iterate the right, right subtree, and then we iterate through the root. Okay, so what basically happens is whenever we come till the root, its left and right subtrees are already uh, processed. Okay, but the problem statement what we are given is uh, we need the pre-order traversal in the linked list, the order of nodes. And also we are given that all the right pointers should present with the next nodes and left pointer should be present with the null. So we can basically tweak this post order traversal for our use. That is, we can uh, initially iterate with the right subtree and then iterate with the left subtree and then iterate to the root so that it helps us in solving this problem. Now let us look at this with the help of IBH method. The IBH method is helpful in solving the recursive problems. Okay, so this method has three steps. The first would be the hypothesis step. And in the hypothesis step, what we basically do is we define the function and what our function will do. Okay, so basically we will define our function. Uh, let's say that it would do take the binary tree, the root of binary tree and convert it into the linked list and give me the head of the linked list. Okay, so this is our hypothesis step. Now the next step is base condition and base condition we need to uh, see what is the largest or sm smallest valid input where we need to stop the recursion. Okay, so in our case, whenever we reach the null nodes, in that case, we need to stop the recursion. Okay, so that is the base condition. Now in the induction step, what we need to do is we need to perform some logic such that uh, this hypothesis comes true. Okay, so basically what we'll do in the induction step is we will uh, say that uh, we will look at just the current node what we are present on. Okay, and if you look at uh, the first step directly, that is, let's say we are on this. What we need to do is we, we do not need to think of the rest of the subtree. Because it, what it will basically do is it will return you a node that would be the head of the linked list of this rest of the tree. Okay. So let's say this is the previous node. Okay. So what we just need to do is we need to point, uh, the currents left to the null and currents right to the previous node. Okay. And say that now I am the previous node and I need to proceed further. Okay, that's it. That's the solution. Now let us look at the code, how we can uh, implement it while defining the recursive function. What we are, the first step would be to define the base condition. That is, uh, whenever we have to end the recursion and we just saw that whenever we reach the null in that case, we'll return. Okay. The next step would be the hypothesis step. So here, what we do is, uh, it was defined that we will take the root of the binary tree and we'll define how the recursion flow would be there. That is, uh, 
before going uh, processing the current root node what we'll do we'll say the right this is my right this is your right we'll say that uh, take this right subtree and flatten it for me and after that take this left subtree and flatten it for me okay and these would return me the head of the linked list but uh, rather than returning i just created a global variable previous that would point to the head of the linked list okay so initially it would be null and after that what uh, this was the hypothesis step these two steps what we just saw uh, this would come in hypothesis now what we need to do is we need to do the induction step okay so this is what where where all the magic happens so we just saw in hypothesis we do not have to look at the complete subtree we just need to look at the current node so we'll do its right so the previous node uh, contained the head of the list uh, linked list that was present so we'll do uh, the right to the previous that is the current nodes right to the previous that is what we are doing we are setting the previous value to the roots right okay after this we'll set uh, the current what was present it's left to null okay that is what we are doing roots left we are setting it to null now we need to proceed further that is uh, now we are uh, now the current node whatever pro was present is done and we just need to proceed further okay so we'll just set the current node that was present that is the root to the previous and then proceed further in recursion that's it that's the solution and i have also run this code so uh, this is the solution uh, i mean this is the run time and now let us look at the iterative approach so in iterative approach we will use basically the stack uh, in recursion there was a recursive stack so we just need to handle that recursion stack on our own in the iterative approach okay so this is very similar to like a bfs uh, doing a bfs on the tree and making the linked list okay so basically in this uh, there is one thing that we need to note here is that so uh, what we do is we will take the stack and we'll push the root node and uh, after that popping the root node we'll check the left and the right uh, in the uh, normal bfs okay but here what we need to note is that we need the pre order right we need the pre order traversal so the left part should be on the top whenever we create the linked list okay so which is why we will initially put the right into the stack and after that we'll put the left into the stack okay so uh, what basically happens is that uh, whenever we pop then the left side would be on the top and this will give us the pre order traversal okay so now let us look at the code to understand it so what we basically are doing here is the initial line uh, that we have is just a corner check that is if binary tree is null in that case we return after that we have simple bfs step that is we create the stack push the root into the stack root of the binary tree and we will iterate while our stack while our stack does not become empty okay so whenever our uh, in each iteration what we are basically doing here is we are taking the top element of the stack okay so we are taking the top element and pointing it with the current variable and then popping that element okay so as i said in the explanation that we need the pre order so its left part of the root uh, that is left subtree should come first in pre order okay so which is why we are just checking the right part first so that it goes at bottom of the stack so we are just checking if current uh, the current pointer right is not null in that case we are just pushing that into stack and after that we are checking the left part okay so this is the right part right check right subtree and then we are checking for the left okay and after that if it is, if left is also not null we are just pushing it into the stack so now our top of the stack would contain the left element that is if this was the iterator then two would be on the top of the stack now we are checking if stack is not empty and if it is not empty then we are updating the current right pointer because we need to make the linked list into the right pointers right so we are just updating current right equal to stack top now the stack top was 2 so 2 comes here after that we are just doing current left equal to null because the right is updated now we need to update it to the null so that's it after uh, exiting from the while loop we will have created the complete linked list uh, i have also run this code and uh, this is it this is the run time and the memory usage so now let us look at the most optimized approach the previous two approaches that we just saw uh, use o of n time and o of n space okay and but this morris traversal takes o of one space now in the previous steps we use a stack or the recursive stack which was taking the space o of n uh, 
and basically let's see why was there a requirement of the stack now if you go from the root node to its left subtree for uh, traversing then you need a way so that you can come back to the root node okay so if you go here then there should be a way to come back to the root node similarly if you go from 2 to 3 then there should be a way to come back again to 2 okay so this was achieved with the help of stack uh, that is we push the elements and then popped again to get back to that particular node okay so in morris traversal uh, we do not need that stack and in this uh, how it is achieved is that we uh, first find find the in order uh, predecessor that we have okay so the in order predecessor is uh, found by so let's say we need to find the in order predecessor of one then we just go first left and then we go on keep on going right until we reach uh, the leaf node okay so the in order predecessor of this is four and then we create a link of this in order predecessor to the next node that we need to go okay so this just completely removes the need of the stack okay so now let us look at the code and understand how this approach works okay so what we are basically doing here is the first step is basically the corner check uh, that is whenever the root is null we just return we do not have to do anything after that we are creating a pointer tree node pointer pointing to the root so let's just create that and uh, we are calling it to the current okay so i'll just do it current after that what we are doing is uh, we are iterating while the current is not equal to null okay so whenever current uh, is not null we just go into the while loop the first check that we have is we are checking if currents left exist that is if the currents null is not uh, if the <laughs> currents left is not present if the currents left is null in that case we do not have to check for the left right we just need to go to the right okay so if current left is not equal to null in that case what we do we just find the predecessor okay so what we uh, for finding the predecessor uh, in order predecessor what we just do we just go first left and then keep on going to the right so that's what we are doing here we are just taking the currents left into the previous and then uh, doing a while loop until previous next previous is next is present okay so this is uh, the process of finding the in order predecessor okay so uh, we entered the while loop we checked if left exists and then we are uh, doing finding the predecessor okay so after that what we are doing is in this step we are creating a pointer so that we can go proceed further okay so what we are doing here is uh, so we reach previous to this step so for now 4 is pointing to the previous after this while loop okay so what we are doing is uh, we are creating previous writes previous write to the current write so this was our current to the one so we are doing current write uh, equal to the previous write so that we can uh, go to that afterwards after processing this okay so now after this what we are doing is uh, this is a basic induction step that we need to do so that we are creating the linked list what we have okay so uh, we, are, we are just doing currents right that is uh, this this uh, what we have the pointer that we have we are just making it to the currents left okay now we are just starting to create the linked list that we have so we are just doing currents uh, right equal to the currents left that is two would come uh, to the pointing to one after that we are just doing currents left equal to null because it's uh, the linked list left pointers are pointing to null so these are the two steps for generating the linked list after that we are just uh, proceeding the current forward that is we are doing current to current of right and that's it that uh, that completes the morris traversal and whenever we exit out of this uh, complete while loop we are present with our complete uh, linked list that we require so i have also run this code and it gives us this runtime that is four second four milliseconds faster than 86 percent and memory usage less than 33.25 percent so that's it for this approach and that's it for this video if you need the code link it would be present in the description uh, if you like the video hit the thumbs up button if you need more such lead code content do subscribe and uh, that's all see you in the next video Bye bye